Hi, I'm Shannon from Skip to My Life. If you've decided to try a gluten-free lifestyle but don't like the price or the taste of grocery store gluten-free items, I'm gonna show you my insider favorites and fails from the Dollar Tree. Let's get started. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. We'll start with some of my favorite breakfast ingredients from Dollar Tree. Since I have a mostly dairy-free diet, most of these items will be dairy-free as well. And one of my favorites is the boxed almond original milk along with the canned mangoes. And I just discovered this energy boost tea that has all these yummy ingredients. Now Dollar Tree also carries some really cute little coffee cups if you're looking to up your style. I began this mango shake by draining those mangoes and putting water over the top just to eliminate the extra sugar. To one can of the drained mangoes, I'm adding two cups of milk along with ice just as you like the consistency. And that's really all there is to it. I mixed it in my Vitamix, which for me is an essential tool in my kitchen. And the Energy Boost tea tasted really good. It was a little weak though. My second breakfast go-to from Dollar Tree is this gluten-free box of grits that Dollar Tree almost always carries. And if you'll follow those directions and make only one serving at a time, especially if you're gonna be microwaving it, the consistency turns out great. I added one cup of Dollar Tree frozen strawberries to my one serving of grits. And it comes out really tasty and sweet and a fun pink color without adding any additional sugar. Keep listening because I'll be sharing my gluten-free journey with you. My third Dollar Tree gluten-free breakfast idea for you is the Hungry Jack Hash Browns. Now these come in a small carton and they surprisingly make a very large amount. You'll wanna follow the directions on the carton by adding very hot water and letting this soak for about 10 minutes. While you're doing that, you can get your skillet ready with a tablespoon and a half of oil. I have a confession to make on the morning I made these. I was in a little bit of a rush to get out the door. So if I had to do it over again, I would have allowed myself a bit more time to let these hash browns get crisper and browner. I really like my hash browns very crispy, but I wanted to add a little bit of protein to this breakfast. And this is a trick that I use with these hash browns. I'll crack two or three eggs in the same skillet and then just gently start to mix those in. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to let me know by clicking the like thumbs up button. Lately, Dollar Tree has been carrying some really nice gluten-free snacks and my favorite are these brown rice cakes. They come in two flavors and my favorite is the seven super seeds. I love to pair this with these little Jif serving sizes of either chocolate or peanut butter, and they make a great snack for on the go if you just wanna put some of those rice cakes and one of those individual serving size of the Jif in a plastic bag, you're good to go. Dollar Tree carries a really nice assortment of dehydrated foods as well as nuts, and they've been lately carrying this Munch Rites brand of gluten-free snacks as well. And I also noticed that all the Welch's fruit snacks are also completely gluten-free. My first lunch idea is very simple, healthy, and easy to take with you on the go. We're gonna start with some of this canned chicken. Now, I was a little cautious about trying this, but I wanted to go ahead and push myself for you guys to try something new. And I was really surprised by how good this chicken tasted. To one can of the chicken, I also added one cup of the peas and carrots in the frozen section. There are several servings in this bag and it tasted extremely fresh. After I microwaved the peas and carrots for about 45 seconds, I added them to the chicken and then topped them off with one of my favorite salt-free seasonings from Dollar Tree. 
I've been gluten-free now for about 10 years. I have had digestive problems most of my life and found that gluten really was a cause of a lot of those. When I was able to eliminate it from my diet, it really improved my health dramatically. So if, if you are at the beginning of your gluten-free journey, I just wanna encourage you, it does get easier. Well, I promised I would share both my favorites and my fails, and I have to tell you that this processed ham in the frozen food section was not my favorite, but I am trying to make it work here. I love the frozen asparagus spears. I have used those before, and I thought I would make a cute little lunch idea by wrapping those in the ham. Once I had formed the packets, I put some more of my no salt seasoning on top and laid them on the grill for a little bit. I have to say that they tasted okay, but the after effect in my stomach was not great. So I can't recommend the ham. Every once in a while, Dollar Tree will carry a name brand food product. And so I decided to try this microwavable Hawaiian bowl pouch. I followed the directions on the back and heated it up. It was very, very simple to make. However, I wasn't crazy about the taste. It just didn't taste really fresh and I would have done better having made my own brown rice. I did, however, really like the canned mandarin oranges by Libby. And here's a gluten-free dessert tip. If you have any juice left from your fruit, you can go ahead and make some homemade popsicles with the forms from Dollar Tree. My husband and I have recently downsized from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny three bedroom love cottage once our kids were grown and flown. Because our food storage is limited, the Dollar Tree sizes of many of these gluten-free foods are much easier for me. For our first dinner idea, we're gonna start with two cans of tuna from Dollar Tree. The one on the left is albacore, the one on the right is regular. You'll see that the albacore tuna is a bit lighter, but it was not the same consistency as I'm used to from the grocery store. This is a recipe for gluten-free tuna cakes that I found on Pinterest. I was really happy with the taste. I'm gonna include the link to that recipe below. If you've been following Skip to My Life for a while, I am so glad you came back. You all make my day with your comments. And if you're new to Skip to My Life, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. We have so much fun here. When I first became gluten-free about 10 years ago, I thought that I had to run out and buy all kinds of expensive ingredients. And by this time, I have realized that there really are a few items that I always stock in my kitchen. A couple of those are alternate forms of nut flours, such as coconut flour and almond flour. I really don't keep wheat flour for obvious reasons, except if I'm making a dessert for a guest. But by this time, it's really not that big of a deal. So again, I just wanna encourage you, if you're new to gluten-free lifestyle, it does get a lot easier, and it can also be done on a very low-cost budget. I served these tuna cakes with some salsa and lemon wedges, and I was crazy about them. I will definitely be doing that again. Our next Dollar Tree gluten-free dinner idea is gonna be a stir fry with black beans and rice. I decided to try these pre-cooked shrimp in the frozen food section, and I'll let you guys be the judge of whether you think it was a good value. Unfortunately, I don't have a great track record making rice on the stove, but I do have a rice cooker and I decided to add the little steamer dish on the top so I could make the rice and steam the shrimp at the same time. While I was waiting for the rice to steam, I decided to follow the directions on the stir fry and cook it in the microwave. I wish that I had just waited and thrown it all in the pan with my other ingredients, but I also rinsed off those black beans and drained the rest of the stir fry vegetables. One reason I added the black beans was for flavor, but also to add some protein since I saw that those shrimp were gonna be so tiny in the end. I love Dollar Tree's jasmine rice flavor and also their beef flavored broth is a real bargain at a dollar. 
make sure you keep watching because we're gonna end with the most important gluten-free items and those are treats. The question for today is tell me about your gluten-free journey. Are you watching for someone else? Are you curious? Or have you recently become gluten-free or been gluten-free for a while? I would love to know your story. Almost all the ingredients in this recipe are gluten-free. However, I've never found gluten-free soy sauce at Dollar Tree. If you all have found it, please let me know because it is quite expensive at the grocery store. This made a really tasty and hearty meal for two. I think it would have served three to four with smaller portions. I would definitely have waited and just put those frozen vegetables directly in the stir fry pan and not have microwaved them. They would have come out a lot crisper. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to let me know by clicking the like thumbs up button. Summer is really heating up in our area of the country, but I am already looking forward to fall. So I have lots of ideas for you for the rest of summer, but I'm also starting to plan some content for fall. If you have some videos you would love to see me make, please comment below and let me know. Well, Dollar Tree is full of gluten-free treats. Now, unfortunately, I don't eat dairy, so most of the ice cream is off limits, but they have some wonderful frozen ice pops. My very favorite were these Fruit Loops flavors, and I'm telling you, they taste exactly like Fruit Loops. The frozen orangeade tasted to me kind of like orange juice concentrate, a little sweeter, not quite as tart. So for the value, I think I'm gonna stick with the ice pops because there's a variety of flavors and there's several more servings. If you're like me and you're trying to drink less soda, Dollar Tree has many gluten-free options for fun and tasty beverages. And of course, everything tastes better in a special drink cup. Thanks so much for coming along on today's adventure and don't forget comment below and let me know your favorite idea from today's video. Until next time, this is Shannon from Skip To My Life. Make it a great day.